dawn over Port Clinton. We're heading off today to Yapoon and Great Keppel Island on the turn of the tide at 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock in the morning now and we've got the uh, basically nearly high tide so we're going to get the tide with us and in uh, Shoalwater Bay at the moment I think there's about 4 metre tides at the moment, 4 or 5. There's two boats, three boats in this bay and there were, but there's quite a few already gone. You can see we're going basically over there and around that point. That's looking back where we've come from. Got a boat over here overtaking me, motoring. And we're heading south in front basically is fresh water but uh, most people are motoring I've decided to sail can't afford the go juice and uh, we'll see where we end up at the end of the day Jack's down here having having avocado on toast very mm. decadent for his breakfast we're coming up to this point, we're going to go between the uh, mainland and that island. I think the large sailing boat that passed us has got its sails up. I can just see him in the distance. Jack did very well on his uh, watch and uh, I've shaken the reef out. So I've got a full main now and the jib. We've had a bit of a puff of wind and I'm getting about 5.4 out of the boat at the moment, going in the right direction. We're coming up to the end of the uh, Shoalwater Bay training area. Going through Cape Manifold. Uh, it's about 11.30 now, so we've been going since 8 o'clock. Three and a half hours. There's the little rock the other side. And we're heading up through Byfield National Park now for about, oh, must be 15 at least nautical miles. If you game, you can uh, drive on all these beaches. Sailing along quite nicely. The stern of us is the uh, Cape Manifold and the island. Got a nice boat coming down on me here. Taking quite a long time to catch me up. Which is very appealing to me.
got the three of us here, you've got a tinny going by at about 20 odd knots. And I think we're doing about five and a half, I think. Looking up the jib, looks pretty well set now, main's pretty good, and I've got my son on the helm. I'm guessing, but I think it's called a Sun Odyssey 439. Jack in the back of the boat here, steering us along, eking out every knot out of the boat. And he's got my sun protection hat on. Looking over there is Curio Bay. Coming on round in the center of the screen is Roslyn Bay Marina. On the front is North Keppel with Great Keppel in, up in behind. Going along very well now, drawing along at about seven knots. This is North Keppel. We're on the eastern side of it. After going down uh, last year on the western side, I've, uh, Jack must have, uh, he decided we're coming this side and I've got uh, no objection. He's been doing a very good job. We've been going at seven knots for the last hour. Up ahead. Great Keppel Island. Passing North Keppel. Tracking along here at uh, at least seven knots at the moment. This is Keppel in front. We're following that yacht there through a channel there between the islands and seek some shelter on the western side. Come through the uh, channel. This little island here. There's a camper on it. meters of water here at the moment and there we are that's the bottom of Great Kettle looking in there's the pub over there and the resort basically is on that corner there's a fair few boats in there mainly catamarans and we're going to go down that far corner over there and find somewhere in there at the radar on my phone uh, looks like a big storm's coming on the radar I'm gonna come clean through uh, the Great Keppel Islands on the Glanston radar radar yeah. it's just starting to rain quite heavily now uh, just hoping there won't be any wind a little bit of wind picking up now
completely over. I think that bright sky over there. We've got a bit of wind at the moment on the old flag up here. Jack down here nonchalantly in, in bed playing computer games again to relieve his stress. Uh, what is that? I'm stressed. And uh, I'm uh, going to make myself a cup of coffee. After the storm, you know, it's pretty okay here in the bay, very calm, but uh, most of the boats are cleared out. The only, only one catamaran here and uh, two boats behind. One uh, really nice steel cruising boat and uh, a small uh, catamaran here. Here we have Artemis. Close in, just behind it, it's the coral, but most of it's dead. Just going ashore for a walk, and I've got a horse fly on my leg while I'm filming. I've been for a walk right along this beach, and I'm hurrying back now. Looking over there. There looks to be another storm coming. Rush to get here. But it's uh, not as bad as I thought from the other side. Anyway, I'll sit here for a minute and get my breath back. And I'll go back to the boat. This is the beach we're on at the moment. Just been Monkey Beach. Just been for a walk over to the other side to Long Beach. I don't know if you can see up there, there's the moon. Full moon tonight. And this is Stratos. Over here with a catamaran next door called No Fixed Address. And I'm right in front of the sunset. Another boat coming in from round the corner. Pretty rough round there on Long, Long Beach, but uh, he's the only one who's come round. We came into Monkey Bay yesterday at about four o'clock. We've had a uh, had a pleasant evening, and in the morning we uh, looked at the radar because there were some storms about, and it looked like we were going to get smashed by a storm coming in. Anyway, it uh, came across looked really black, and we only basically got rain, no wind. I uh, went for a walk uh, this afternoon, about two o'clock, 
I looked back on the beach on the other side here, Long Beach, and I thought, oh God, there's another storm coming. So I rushed on back to the boat and there was, Jack was in the water swimming on the coral here. And uh, I asked a person on the beach, I said, how long does he think he's going to be? He said about an hour. He said, it hasn't even got to Yapoon yet. So anyway, I towed Jack out round the uh, reef here and tried to find him some decent coral. I don't know if I managed or not, because it's, it's, uh, it's kind of half. There's a bit of coral living, but it's a lot of dead. But anyway, he uh, had a good swim, saw a few fish, and then we uh, came back to the boat. And as soon as we got back to the boat, we took the cover down in case it blew and it poured with rain. Jack had a shower outside. And uh, we've been for another walk on the beach this, afternoon, uh, this evening. And I've got back and uh, I'm having a beer. I'm afraid the sunset's already gone. I tried to take a, photo, a video of it, but it was behind the boat. Cheers, everyone. and. Thank you for all those people that have shouted me a beer.